Hello, in this video we're going to prove that the limit of x minus 1 to the fourth power times the sine of 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 is equal to 0. Let's go ahead and go through this proof. So to prove this, we're just going to use what's called the squeeze theorem. We basically have to take this and show it's between two other functions that approach 0. Because if this is between two functions that approach 0, then this should also approach 0. I'm going to do it in steps. I'm going to start by working with the sine function. We're going to write down sine of 1 over x minus 1. By the way, if you just plug in 1 here, it won't work because you'll get 0 here times something that's undefined because you'll have 1 over 0. So it doesn't make any sense. The sine function is always between 1 and negative 1. So this is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1. And this is always true for the sine function. It's always going to be between these two numbers. So that's a good first step because that gives us an inequality. Now we want to add this piece here, this x minus 1 to the fourth. So this is always going to be positive as long as x is not 1. So we can multiply this inequality by x minus 1 to the fourth power. When we do that, we get minus parentheses x minus 1 to the fourth power less than or equal to x minus 1 fourth power times the sine of 1 over x minus 1. That's less than or equal to x minus 1 to the fourth power. All right, now we're in a good place. So we have our inequality. Now we just have to verify that these functions on the left and the right approach 0. To do that, we just simply write it down. So we have the limit as x approaches 1 of minus x minus 1 to the fourth power. And notice here you can just plug in 1. You get minus 1 minus 1 to the fourth power, which is minus 0 to the fourth power, which is just 0. Likewise, we can do the same thing with the function on the right-hand side. We can take the limit as x approaches 1 of x minus 1 to the fourth power. And again, we can just plug in the 1 here, so we get 1 minus 1 to the fourth power which is 0 to the fourth power, which is 0. So now we've satisfied the hypothesis of the squeeze theorem. We have several things. We've shown that this piece here approaches 0. We've shown that this piece here approaches 0. We also have shown that this function here, which was our original function, is trapped between these two functions. So if this approaches 0 and this approaches 0, then whatever's in the middle also approaches 0 by the squeeze theorem. So all we have to do is now just state that. So thus, by the squeeze theorem, squeeze theorem, it's also called the sandwich theorem or the pinching theorem, we have that the limit as x approaches 1 of x minus 1 to the fourth power times the sine of 1 over x minus 1 is equal to zero, and that completes our proof. So, pretty simple proof with the squeeze theorem. Whenever you have a trig function like this, like a sine or a cosine, you can always do this. You can start with this step here, and then just manipulate it to make it look like what you have, and you should be able to do it. Hopefully this video has helped you. Good luck.